Hi there, and welcome back to another PSDK and Pokemon Studio tutorial. In this video, we're going to be going over how to do map links. And to do this video, you're kind of going to need to make sure that you've watched at least uh, episode 7, which covers how to do the zones. That's the important part to definitely know for today's video. So uh, if you don't know anything about zones yet, make sure you do watch this video first. So in case you're wondering what a map link is, it's essentially a map connection. If you're coming from Pokemon Essentials, which is where you have two outside maps, or technically three, four, however many, um, connected. So in PSDK, uh, to make this actually really work is you do need to go over here into the zones tab. And uh, when you create a new zone, it is important that the type of zone is considered outdoor. To be considered outdoor, you do have to have it to where you can teleport on the map, and then you can mark it as outdoor. Um, more importantly, you do need to make sure that you have maps listed in this outdoor zone, because that's how the map linker is going to know which maps it can use to connect the map. So if that sounded a little bit complicated, that's okay, because I'm going to be going over how to do all of that in some pretty good detail. So let's just get started. So if you go over here into the map links tab and you click on map, you're going to notice that it is going to give you a list of maps. Um, as I previously said, these maps are only going to be maps that are in a zone and that zone is also considered an outdoor map. If those two qualifications are met, then you're going to start seeing your maps appear in this map list. You're going to notice that there's no button in the top left that says like new map link. Um, compared to like every other database tab that does have like a new group, new zone, new trainer, new item, new ability, new type, etc. Um, this one works a little bit different. Uh, instead, you do need to pick the initial map that you're trying to connect. So for example, we're trying to connect our tutorial map one, which is our map 27, which is this one. And if you see, I did make um, map 28 over here, uh, kind of connected to map 27. And then map um, 29 is supposed to be under both of those. So as you see, this is kind of an advanced situation where I'm kind of trying to split one map into three just to show how map connections can work. Um, an important thing to note is that it is literally just what you would see right next to it, um, right under it, right on top of it, wherever you want the map to be. Uh, previously in PSDK, you did need to have uh, repeating tiles. I think it was two, maybe it might've been three. I think it was three repeating tiles. Um, on the sides that you were connecting, but that's not the case anymore, um, unless you're using the old map link, which just to double check to make sure you're not, um, make sure that you open your project, go to the project settings, go to display, and then just make sure that you have used the old map linking system off. Make sure it looks like this. You don't want this to be blue. You want it to be off, okay? There's no need to use the old system unless you were a old PSDK user. And I'm just gonna assume that most people that are watching this series are new ones. So uh, just to double check that your game is good, just make sure that this system is turned off. So now I'm just gonna show you an example um, of a unconnected map, and then obviously an example of a connected map. We're gonna load our save. Now you guys have seen this map before in our previous videos, and you can see it has this black outline on the sides. Whoops, I forgot that we had a trainer there. Um, so yeah, you can see it has the black outline next to it because there's nothing connected to it. But in our previous video, we did create a zone. This is the outside zone with the maps 27, 28, and 29 connected. Um, technically, the maps that you're connecting don't need to be part of the same zone. Just to clarify, they don't have to be part of the same zone. They just have to be an outside map, um, and that will allow it to appear in the map link dropdown. So in our situation, though, we're just going to keep them next to each other because this is the same area. And it just makes sense that the same area would have similar encounters and whatnot. So 27, 28, and 29, we're going to need to go over here to our map links. And we're going to open tutorial map 1. This is map 27, which is shown right here. And to the right of it, we have tutorial map 2. There's no offset. The offset is going to be um, telling it whether it should move up or down. Um, and in this case, we don't have an offset at all because they're... Um, they're going to be directly like connected to each other. So say for instance, um, tutorial map two was uh, a bit of a taller map. So the height maybe like, let's say it was, um, 20 or something instead of 15, because this map is 15 and the direct connection 
like like I said, let's just for example, I guess let's make it 20, right? And then um, let me just move everything real quick. So we're gonna shift everything down a few tiles, and then we are going to go back to the grass real quick. And we are gonna paint this. I haven't mapped in RPG Maker in a very long time. I uh, am a huge advocate for um, tiled, and I will be going over how to use tiled in the future. But for now, I think it's a little bit too complicated to try and teach uh, just yet. Whoopsies. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So, say the map looks like this, right? We have one map that is approximately only 15 on the height, but the map next to it is 20 on the height. So in this situation, if we just connect them with no offset and we save it and we go and look, you're gonna notice that it's it's gonna be like putting two maps right next to each other, like directly next to each other. All right, so if you are in a situation like so, where you're seeing a black border but you know that you connected the map links like I had shown. The issue is probably that you actually forgot to include the disable map linker switch when you leave the uh, a building. So this is actually a really important switch to do. Um, and let me just show you what I mean by that. Uh, when we switch back over to our main monitor and we go inside the player's house, just make sure that um, whenever you're leaving a building or you're entering a map that's gonna have maps connected to it, that you end up disabling this map linker switch. This is really, really important or else you're gonna end up in a situation like so, where you see this black box here, this outline, when we know that we do have a map that's supposed to be over here. So to fix this, like I said, you're just gonna to need to do that switch. So we're gonna go inside and outside. Now, the other issue is that you're just a silly little guy like me and you kind of just explained it pretty poorly. So. Uh, in this situation, we're going to go over this again. Um, tutorial map one is our initial map that you're going to be walking out into. All right, so think about it like so. So the first map that we're walking onto is this top left one, which is tutorial map one. All right, we want to connect a taller map. Um, this one is going to be uh, about five tiles taller, and this one is called Tut. Just imagine that the same width, okay? And then um, under that, we're gonna have another map that's gonna be called Tutorial 3, okay? Now, the issue with this is that these three maps are nothing alike, and I think that's pretty obvious. So the first map that we're gonna have is gonna be a map that is 20 tiles wide by 15 tiles high. Our second map that we have is gonna be 20 miles uh, 20 tiles wide by 20 tiles high and our third map which is going to be under both of these maps is going to be a total of their width which is going to be 40 with the height of 15. now this is totally doable and actually it's really easy to do and i'm very excited to show you guys how to do it so to start out what we need to do is make sure that we're here in our map links tab we click on our initial map that we want to work on which is going to be in our case it's going to be tutorial map one and we are going to connect tutorial map two to the right of it with an offset of negative five. This is going to push up the map five tiles. If we had it as a regular five, it would push it downwards five tiles. So since we know the height difference is only five, we want to push it up five. Now we're going to go back over to tutorial map two and we're going to just make sure that the opposite is shown on the opposite side. So since we connected on tutorial map one, we connected tutorial map two with an offset of negative five. It then put tutorial map one to the left of tutorial map two with an offset of five. It's basically just mirroring it, which is exactly what you want it to do. So we're gonna hit save. And for some reason, uh, it undoes that. I, I really don't know why it, it's done this. I, I've already tried showing this once in the video, um, but we're just gonna do it again, just to make sure that everything is working fine. So again, it's a negative five. And now we're going to put our big map under us, which is tutorial map three. Now, if you see from our example here, you're going to come out of the building this way. And you're going to end up on tutorial map one. 
if you're going to look to the right, you're going to see this map over here. And if you look down, you'll see this map. You just got to keep this kind of image in your head when you're when you're doing your map links as well. So now we got to go back over to tutorial map two and make sure that we have tutorial map three with an offset of negative 20. The reason for this is because when you enter tutorial map two over here, it's going to then check the map links for this map and no longer look at this one. So if we come from this map over to here, it basically relooks at these links and then repositions all the maps. So if you have any of these off on just one of these map links, it will show when you enter that new map. So obviously I'm not really trying to show an issue like that, but I probably will end up showing one. <laughs> so now that we have everything connected, uh, tutorial map one doesn't require an offset because the width of this tutorial map three um, is already taking into consideration that it's starting from the far left corner. But when you are starting with tutorial map two and entering into tutorial map three, you do have to take into consideration that tutorial map one is to the left of this map. So you have to push over tutorial map three, 20 tiles to the right when you're looking at tutorial map two's map link. I hope I'm explaining this well. I know I'm using a lot of words, but I'm trying my best. So now when we enter here, we're gonna go into the map and we're gonna see everything is connected perfectly. If we walk over here to the right, you can see that map three is down here. If you walk over here to the left, you can see that map three is still down there and none of the maps are shifting, which is what's really, really important. If you notice that maps are shifting, when you're walking in between your connections, that means that you probably have a bad offset. So I'm gonna to try to show an example of that. But if you press F2 and you look at your frame rate here uh, and you go in between the maps, you're gonna notice that there's no drop whatsoever in the FPS. So map connections don't inherently lower your frame rate. However, you do need to take into consideration um, all of the events that are connected onto all of these different maps which is kind of the point of having warps and gatehouses. By utilizing warps and gatehouses, you can use less map connections and have less events being loaded at once, causing your game to lag. So if you ever have a big city with like 50 events inside, it's pretty important that you don't connect other maps with even more events in them. Now PSDK is a very powerful kit and it can really handle a ton of events. But if you're making maps connected to other maps, connected to other maps, connected to other maps, and all of these maps have tons of events, it does kind of add up. So um, realistically, take those things into consideration while you're making your game. Um, I hope this video helped you. Um, I know map links can seem a little bit confusing, but uh, if you are having any more difficulties with these, just join the Pokemon Workshop Discord and uh, I'll do my best to help you. And I'm sure other people in the Discord can uh, as well. So real quickly, just to show you what it looks like when you have the wrong offsets, right? So let's say that um, you didn't realize that you were supposed to push it um, five up, you accidentally put five down. So I'm just gonna show what an example of that would look like. And then obviously um, this is gonna mirror that. And then let's just say that we push this one 20 to the right instead of 20 to the left. Okay, let's launch this again. So just by flipping the values, we're going to notice that it makes a huge difference and then it's really, really important that you test your game and make sure that you have the correct offsets. So now as you see, uh, tutorial map 3 looks totally fine, whoops, uh, I'm just going to press F12 to do a quick soft reset. Um, it, you're going to notice that tutorial map 1 and 3 look totally fine because it was already taken into consideration that tutorial map 3 is going to have... Um, it's going to start from the far left side, just like tutorial map one. And with them on top and under each other, they're going to look perfectly fine. No issue. However, the moment that you walk over here onto um, <laughs> over here, farther on tutorial map three, you're going to notice that uh, there's an issue over here with tutorial map two. So yeah, it's just really, really important that you do get your offsets correct. Again, we're just holding control while we walk over here. It looks like these actually, um, yeah, there we go. So. Like I said, 
very, very important that you just check your game when you're doing your map links and that you make sure your offsets are correct. I hope I explained everything uh, well enough for you guys and um, hopefully the next video doesn't take three weeks again. <laughs> make sure to join the Discord if you have any issues, any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.